Hey what's going on guys, Fitz here and welcome to another Gears Tactics video. Today we'll take a look at the Heavy Class Skill Tree. I'll focus on the Defender build as I have already completed the game using that build. If you are interested in other classes like the Warden, Marksman, Support, and Scout, check out my previous videos for a detailed guide. So without further ado, let's get into it. Since we don't have a Heavy Class Hero, we'll refer to our troop as Heavy. Heavy Class provides massive firepower and overwatch damage. Heavy Class usually camps at a vantage point and lay down gunfire at enemies. The primary weapon of a Heavy is the Mulcher or the Gatling Gun. There are a few things to keep in mind before we dive into the skill tree. I've talked about this on my previous videos, but I still want to say it for those who haven't seen those videos. This is not the only build or way to play the game, but if you want some baseline then this guide should help you. Once you find the skills you like, you can reset your skills and build your heavy class the way you want. You can learn a maximum of 18 skills, but by the end of your first campaign, you'll only be around level 6 or 7. So you will only have 10 to 12 skills when you fight the final boss. Since this is not a main character, your heavy class will only be around level 5 or 6. You can continue playing your current campaign even after the credits roll. You'll unlock the veteran missions, which reward you with the best equipment and increase your veteran level. You have a limited reset skill so only use them when you are sure of the skills you want to learn. I'll show you the weapon mods and armor that I used for my heavy class troop later on this video. As a heavy, there are four subclasses that you can focus on. The first class is the specialist. It focuses on accuracy and damage stacks. The second class is the demolitionist. It focuses on explosive shots and frag grenades. The third class is the artillery. It focuses on shooting and critical hit shots. And the last class is the Defender. It focuses on suppressing fire and overwatch. This build focuses on the Defender skills. As a heavy class, your main role is to provide firepower, suppress enemies, and defend enemy push with overwatch. The skills have descriptions in-game and most of them are self-explanatory but I will still give my input on the skills to learn. At your base level, a heavy class already has learned the passive skill Angkor. You get plus 10% accuracy and plus 15% damage per stack of Angkor every time you shoot, to a maximum of 3 stacks. This can be improved later to 5 stacks. You will lose the anchored status if you move. First, learn Explosive Shot Level 1. It's a great source of AoE damage. If you kill an enemy with this skill, the target explodes dealing 300 damage to all units in a 4 meter radius. Next, learn Healing Anchor. You will heal 20% of your maximum health when you end your turn anchored. That means you shot and you didn't move during your turn. Next, learn Suppressing Fire Level 1. This is an active skill. The target and enemies within 4 meters get the suppress status effect until the end of their next turn. Units with suppress status are interrupted and cannot move. Bosses cannot be suppressed. Next, learn quick overwatch. When you use the overwatch ability, you get one action point. You can use this additional action point on your next turn. Next, learn Suppressing Fire Level 2. This will improve your skill to have a wider AoE. Now it will affect the target and enemies within 5 meters. Next, learn Slayer. This is a passive ability that increases your overwatch damage by 50%. This is a massive damage bonus. This is the reason why you should always have your defender on overwatch. Next, learn At The Ready. When you enter Overwatch, all of your skills cooldown are reduced by 1. Since we like to have our heavy class enter Overwatch, we can now use all our skills more often. 
Next, learn Defensive Anchor. When you have the Anchored Status effect, you gain plus 20% damage reduction. Since you are anchored most of the time, you will almost always have this effect. If your heavy class troop reaches level 6, learn Reckless Shot level 1. This is an active skill that will give you plus 30% critical hit chance. This is a good skill but we only learn this skill so we can get the next one which is Anchor level 2. You can now have a maximum of 5 stacks of Anchored giving you plus 50% accuracy and plus 75% damage if you have max stacks. Those are the skills that I recommend for the Defender build. Again, this is not the only build or way to play the game. This is just my recommendation for those of you looking for some baseline to build your heavy class. Now let me show you the weapon mods and armor that I used for my heavy class troop. There are 4 mods for your primary weapon, the Mulcher. For the handle, I used the legendary Power Handle. It gives plus 60 damage and plus 10% critical hit chance. For the magazine, I used the Epic Extended Mag. It gives plus 3 ammo. As I mentioned in my previous videos, additional ammo is always good and sometimes even better than flat additional damage. For the recoil adapters, I used the legendary shielded adapters. It gives plus 150% critical damage at the cost of one movement range. Since heavy class troops should be anchored most of the time, you won't really notice the movement range penalty. For the barrel, I used the legendary impact barrel. It gives plus 30 damage and the passive skill disrupt. Disrupt will knock back the target if you shoot and hit them. For the secondary weapon, I equipped the snub pistol, which is the best pistol that I have right now. For the grenade slot, equip your heavy troop with a frag grenade. Now let's check out the armor pieces that I used. Please note that most of the legendary and epic items are being used by the main heroes, so I will only recommend the available ones. For the helmet, I equip the rare trooper helmet. It gives plus 13 health and plus 10% maximum health. For the chest armor, I equip the epic cadet chest plate. It gives plus 30 health and the passive skill stabilizers, which gives plus 7% accuracy when you shoot from cover. For the leg armor, I equip the epic destroyer leg guards. It gives plus 30 health and a passive skill heavy weight, which gives plus 15% damage reduction. With this build, your heavy troop should be anchored at advantage point where you can shoot enemies from multiple directions. Try to stay in one position and keep your anchored status effects. Only move if you have to or if you don't have high accuracy to hit enemies. Always use overwatch to end your turn. And that concludes my heavy defender build guide. Let me know in the comment section below what you want to see next or if you have any questions or suggestions. Hit the like button if this video helped you. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on my future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy. Get after it now. Heavy here. On it. Go time. Hit him hard. Can do. Got it. Let's do it. Hell of a kill, soldier. Grab it set. Awaiting orders.